Welcome to East Coast LQ Beers. Today, we're reviewing another beer by Maine Beer Company. This is their King Titus Porter. Does have a picture of a gorilla on the front there. On the back, it says, Titus, a bold silverback gorilla who led with his heart, was observed by the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund throughout his 35 year life. Their conservation approach involves research, education, and community outreach, which has allowed DFGF to protect these magnificent animals on the Virunga Volcano Mountain Range in Rwanda. Learn more at gorillafun.org. Uh, thank you for drinking our beer. You enable us to continue to do what's right, take care of our earth and the creatures that live on it, take care of our staff, and to keep making better beer. If you want to check them out, you can go to mainbeercompany.com. Uh, yeah, these guys are awesome. A lot of the beers go back into um, uh, funds for like wildlife and stuff. So that's really cool to see a brewery doing that. This is pretty fresh. Uh, this was bottled January 30th, 2024. It says drink this beer fresh within 125 days, 120 days of the stamp born on date. And the ABV is 7.5% alcohol by volume. And today is... 214 2024 uh, so this is pretty fresh a couple weeks old uh, it's also Valentine's Day happy Valentine's Day to everyone we do have the website pulled up over here uh, it says flavor profile aromas of woody tobacco and walnut followed by burnt coffee toffee and chocolate hops is uh, Centennial and Columbus malt American two row caramel 40 L chocolate Munich 10 L uh, midnight wheat caramel 80 L and flaked oats says do what's right so yeah these guys are out of uh, Freeport Maine I've been enjoying a lot of their beers um, yeah this first uh, dark beer I've had by them I've had pretty much all IPAs uh, so a porter and good ABV too, 7.5 percent let's uh, crack this open pour it up into my uh, trillium snifter here so this was eight bucks eight bucks for this bottle Pretty excited when I saw this. I actually really want to find the uh, Mean Old Tom. That's their stout with vanilla beans. That sounds interesting. Let's uh, pour it up. So it's got like a black coffee color. Pretty much no clarity through it at all. Uh, if you hold it up to the light, you get a little bit of that kind of like uh, ruby tint. But then you got this nice brown, kind of soapy, sudsy head on top. It's actually already creating a nice lacing. Looks very uh, creamy. Looks really nice. Looks like it's gonna have um, some nice viscosity to it as well. Let's go for the nose. I can, honestly, I could smell the coffee from here like fresh coffee grounds. Dark chocolate, you get that caramel malt. A little bit of like a uh, raisin in there, some dried fruits. It smells very uh, robust and rich. Very decadent, I would say, on the nose. It's a, it's a strong aroma but for the most part it's got that like I said like fresh coffee grounds it smells really good let's dive in and try it out cheers everyone this is also pretty cold I just pulled this out of the mini fridge So I was going to say, it reminds me of the um, Samuel Smith Oatmeal Stout, and I think they have, well this is a porter, but, so they are using flaked oats in this, so you can kind of get that on the flavor. Mouthfeel is a little bit thinner than expected, considering the color. It's still about medium bodied, carbonation is very light. Look at that rich roasted coffee on the back end combined with that dark chocolate bitterness 
a little bit of like some breadiness, biscuity, and um, some sweetness, like the caramel malts up front. A little bit of that dried fruit again. Yeah, definitely a dark chocolate. Dark chocolate and like roasted coffee. There's a slight astringency, slightly drying, but you do get left with some of that sweetness from the malts as well. It's pretty solid. It actually tastes pretty fresh. You get a little bit of like the um, citrusy flavor. You, uh, from the hops, you can get a little bit of that kind of floral, kind of flowery on the back end. It's definitely hidden, a little hidden by the coffee, but if you really uh, kind of look for it, you can get a little bit of that, like I said, like that citrusy kind of flowery floral. I think once this ages a little bit, I think that'll probably go away. I personally like it. I think it tastes really good. Um, if you want like a standard porter where coffee, dark chocolate, um, not overly bitter, but it does have a nice bitterness to it. And then you get that good combo of the malty sweetness as well. And then, like I said, it's kind of got that same flavor profile like uh, with those oats, which is reminiscent to the Samuel Smith oatmeal stout. Um, this is good, I do like it. I do think it's worth the eight bucks. And of course, you know, you're supporting the gorillas. Um, and yeah, I love purchasing and uh, buying beers that support other causes. I think it's, you know, um, it's good to see beer companies doing this. Um, and I encourage more people to do it because I buy more of your beer. Uh, overall, I think this is a pretty solid porter for sure. I kind of wish, um, you know, maybe if I did this live, I could have sat and s sipped on this when it was a little bit warmer. But I, I, I'm gonna say that I think it's probably gonna, um, maybe that multi sweetness might dial back and I'll get a little bit more of the chocolate in the coffee. But overall, what I got in front of me, it's a really solid product. I'm gonna go like 94 out of 100. Um, yeah, it's awesome. If you see it, try it out, check it out. This is the King Titus Porter by Main Beer Company. Totally gonna recommend it. I recommend you drink it fresh as well. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.